good day all. We're back for part two of our visit to Tecum's. Of course I did film this all in one day, but I don't remember if I showed driving in. But where we left off on the last video was showing these darling felted birdhouses, which I'm really considering as maybe an Easter gift for my mother-in-law, or probably a mother-in-law's gift, a mother's day gift. Now they have, being an artist, I do like a good pen, a good painter art pen, and they do carry some nice uh, higher end art supplies here. And then I believe they have more of like a kid quality in the cellar when we go down cellar to look at the um, games and things. But today I thought I'd share a few more of the gifts. Look how adorable these little earrings, the little stack of books. And uh, more felted items. Of course, this makes one think of Easter. However, I love um, eggs being a person who loves birds. So I would probably decorate with those year round. And other little pottery items. <laughs> These are adorable. These sweet earrings are made from real leather and paper books. That's adorable. So again, lots of great gift ideas for people who love reading and bookshops and even just something from a local place on the Cape. These are such pretty journals. I love that the gold, uh, the gold edge paper is always nice. More felted items. Sweet. I like those glittery mushrooms. And of course, Nantucket mass, whales. Anything with whales or sailboats or hydrangeas or lobsters are always a big sell on here. I like this too because you can look out and see the various additions on the old uh, 1690s house because of course the family lives in the main part of the house. So I like that you can see how the pieces were added on through the generations. Makes me think of uh, Old Kings, although Old Kings isn't half the size, <laughs> if only, although it'd be too much to take care of. Some more lovely pens. And uh, I'm, again, I'm gonna, this is another um, Burgess book, Billy Mink. I need to do a video just on Burgess because he really is somewhat of a, sort of like the American version of B Beatrix Potter in a way. So, um, Yes, I'll have to do a video and share the books I have, and maybe we'll come back and buy another sweet book of his. So, as we're still up here, I'm going to show a few more of the uh, used books, just to kind of give someone a... just to feel as if they're browsing themselves. This looks adorable. I'll try to slow down and edit so you can kind of read the dust jacket. A delightful story of a summer adventure of two children on Nantucket Island. And I love Nantucket and the vineyard. We used to sail there quite often. However, Nantucket is, it's kind of become a little bit more like a mini Hollywood a bit, but it's still a lovely place to go. But a lot of locals have been priced out, but that would be a different sort of video. <laughs> and here's another dust jacket, which I'll try to slow down in uh, edit so someone can get a synopsis of what this is. Because I'm sure if anyone, again, I'm not sponsored or anything, but if anyone who lived out of state wanted anything from here, I'm sure they'd happily ship it. Oh, I kind of wanted this Gertrude Jekyll's uh, book. Gertrude Jekyll, of course, one of my favorite English gardeners of the past. This looks like a pretty thorough book. I have to consider that one. And uh, let's go back down to the ground floor and then uh, down here, down cellar to the uh, basement floor where they have the gifts. So I figure I'll just share some of the cute gifts and things. They have children's toys and um, um, other fun gifts that you know, don't have to just be for children. <laughs> I'll try to go slowly so you can kind of get an idea of what they offer. Oh, good. I wanted to see if they had these down here. Aren't these adorable? They're like a type of uh, puzzle. And I love Doll's House and miniature things. So things like this, I just, I can't help but be drawn in, putting together all the little intricate pieces and then having the sweet finished product. This looking like a book, a 3D puzzle it's called, but see how it looks like a little book with Alice Adventures inside. It's great. These are great rainy day uh, Cape Cod <laughs> summer things to do. Oh, this is adorable. The little tea house. Those are really sweet. 43. I mean, that would be adorable gift and for adults as well. And I like that a lot of the things have a very vintage feel. 
car games, which are perfect for people taking their car ride to their summer house or their vacation rental for the summer. Although I'm not sure that kids need cards to play anymore. I think everybody uses iPads now. <laughs> but I remember playing card games in the car for trips to summer cottages. Oh yes, this is the more um, still high quality um, Faber-Castell is good quality. Oh, I like this calligraphy set. I actually have a friend who's really into calligraphy. This would actually be a fun um, birthday gift. That's really sweet. I may have to think about that. This is good I, when I forget things, but I've been <laughs> taking videos of it. When I'm editing, I can also remind myself, oh, I better jot down that gift idea for so-and-so, or Sally's child is turning a certain age. I better go back and grab that. Oh, I love, oh, I love stife, I love antique stife animals, but this is a new stife piece, this stife bear, and I love that it comes in this darling little suitcase. This would be a sweet gift to get, um, as a, uh, take-home gift from your Cape Cod visit, because I love that he's in his little suitcase. And he's stife, so something you feel you would want to hand down to grandchildren. And thanks for babies. And I love these sort of neutral, pastel-colored children's toys, and they, would, again, would make amazing gift baskets for someone who's having a, um, a baby shower. Oh, they carry the uh, Sylvanian families items here, which I always loved. In fact, I still have a few pieces that I mingle with my uh, dollhouse things when I want to take fun little photos in the woods of various Dallas House pieces. Sometimes I'll get the old Sylvanian fam families. Uh, although I think they're called Calico Critters in the U.S. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this part two visit. And uh, now I'm going to stop and get a coffee. And uh, I need to take you here as well. This is a fun little place that has a, um, a few sort of outdoor places. Here's the little coffee booth. And there's a, a sweet little shed that sells tacos and there's a darling little gallery so I'll take us here another day but for now I'm just going to grab a coffee and call this today and I hope you enjoyed today's video so until tomorrow's video remember stay creative cheers Thank mm -hmm. you.